Well, good afternoon, everyone. Craig back at you out on the 2018 Honda Goldwing out for a wonderful, beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, just uh, for a stroll out for a ride. It's uh, 66 degrees in western New York. And uh, after really a cold week all week long, it is uh, nice just to have an opportunity where it warms up a little bit today. Uh, so you can get out and you can enjoy yourself and ride a little bit. Still into the social distancing, uh, but it's going to, uh, summer's coming. So, you know, it's not as bad, you know, when you can be able to get out and, and enjoy life uh, when you get your motorcycle out. So what's new for today? Well, today gives me my first opportunity to be out and about pulling my new, well, new to me, Bush Tech trailer. Quantum GL Plus Bush Tech trailer. I just got it uh, back probably about a week ago or so from the painters, I had it color matched. I did buy it and uh, it was in great shape. The previous owner uh, used it sparingly and uh, decided that he was going to sell his motorcycle and and I believe he was gonna concentrate more on his classic car. So he had a, he had a Goldwing and he had a Bush Tech trailer and. I was just uh, on the right form at the right place at the right time and was able to work out a deal and buy the trailer. So when it got to me, it was in uh, immaculate condition. Just the color was not, uh, was not uh, matching at all uh, my pearl white gold. So most people, you know, you have the option when you, when you get a trailer, whether you want to keep you know, that if you're buying it used, whether you want to keep the trailer, or I guess buying it new, whether you want to keep the original color of the trailer, whatever the trailer is, or color match it. And I just decided I wanted to, to color match it. I know sometimes when you have a, a alternative color, it looks actually a better, goes with the bike better. Um, but I, for me, this one, I wanted the, the trailer to be an extension uh, of the bike. So I uh, sent it over to the, to the um, painter uh, Regan's stock and custom, and he did an outstanding job. Color man. Here's my first time, first day really pulling the trailer. The only thing I did was I picked it up uh, when it was done being painted and, and drove it back home, which was only a couple miles from my house. So it's really my first opportunity to, to have it out and ride around with it. Uh, as many people have said, uh, you, you can't really, you don't even really notice it's back there. I know that is so cliche go on you talk to people that have trailers oh you don't even know you're pulling it but you really don't know that you're pulling it so I just wanted to get comfortable with it uh, get used to uh, riding get used to the air suspension with the Bush Tech trailer uh, it has the air suspension so you have to load it up and after you load it you adjust the, the wheels the camber of the wheels um, by you know pumping air into it or taking air out so that the wheels are vertical and then you're set to go so it's first time doing that so I'm playing with that and just seeing, uh, getting used to the extra distance uh, since I'm longer now, since pulling the, the, you know, pulling, riding the bike and pulling the trailer, you know, I'm, I'm substantially longer. So I got to make sure when I make my turns, I'm giving myself enough space, enough room. In this video, again, I want to talk a little bit about the, the Bush Tech trailer. I'm going to pull over, give you guys a look at it, uh, find a spot here. And uh, also, even though, you know, almost mo most of my videos, I have the Honda Goldwing in the videos, I really have not talked much about some of the upgrades uh, that I've done to the video. So I figured I would take an opportunity to take the time to show you what I've done uh, to the Honda Goldwing and uh, tell you what I thought about it. You know, some, I think, I guess some upgrades are risky. When I say risky, you don't know if it's going to work out well. You don't know if you add this accessory, whether you're really going to like it. So I figured I would go through the bike and show you some of the things I've done in the past year that I have had the bike, what's worked out well, what's maybe not worked out so well. So that gives you an idea of what you might want to do uh, with your 2018 and up Honda Goldwing or whatever type of motorcycle you ride, depending on the type of upgrade. So uh, thanks for being with us and uh, you know, we'll take a look at the bike in a second. So let me go over some of the things here on my 2018 Honda Goldwing. Really want to talk about some of the upgrades I've done, some of the things that uh, I think were nice and work well, and some of the things that are eh, uh, probably mediocre. I can start off by saying I don't think I've done, I can't think of any bad upgrade whatsoever that I've added to this bike. Um, so you can pick and choose what you want to do, um, but I'll give you my take on it. So let me start at the front of the bike. One of the first things I did was add 
this uh, F4 Customs uh, windshield. It's the 20 inch windshield with the recurve. The one thing that I like about the windshield is that it sticks out approximately, I want to say two inches on the side. So it gives you a little bit more um, protection from the buffer. So as you can see where the wings are here, uh, where the normal stock windshield will come up and follow this pattern, these protrude out a little bit more, maybe about an inch and a half, two inches on each side. So it does give you some more protection. The other thing that I like about the F4 Customs windshield, um, beside the recurve that really takes the wind and pushes it up instead of on you and stops some of the buffeting. The other thing that I like about it is the coating you can use just regular paper towels uh, when you go to clean your windshields. You don't have to use microfiber, you don't have to use anything like that. You can just take the paper towels and clean them off. That's a great benefit, especially if you're out and about and you're touring. And, you know, we carry microfiber, but if you forget it, you can take a paper towel from a gas station, spray the windshield down and clean it, and it, it, will, it looks just amazing. So, uh, definitely a plus. I would, uh, I would recommend going with the F4 Customs windshield. Other thing that I added to was just a little gold strike. As you can see this here, black custom piece here. Um, did I need it? No, I tell you why I bought it. I was at Wingding last year and um, and I just wanted to get something while I was out at Wingding. So I saw that little custom piece and, and put it on there. It's okay, but it's just, you know, it doesn't add any value, it doesn't do anything, but I just wanted to pick up something to say that I got something from Wingding because I really didn't get anything else maybe other than a t-shirt. Other modifications, the Gold Strike tie-downs. So I don't know if you can see this here, I'll put my hand on it right here. These tie-downs that are each side, that side there, and the tie-down is this side right here, if you can see that. Those were very easy to install. Um, I'm not much of a do-it-yourselfer, but I did install those maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 40 bucks. I have not been in a position yet where I needed to tie down my um, my gold wing for transport, but I just figured for 40 bucks to have the tie downs because this doesn't have um, the traditional forks. It has that wishbone suspension. I have the traditional forks where most people would tie down uh, their bikes. I think those were a good modification um, to add. There's nothing wrong, uh, you know, really if you wanted to, to tie down from the handlebars. People say you shouldn't. But I've seen all types of things saying that it's not too bad to tie down a bike from handlebars. So, Gold Strike tie downs, 40 bucks would definitely do it. Again, if you ever needed to to, to, um, to tow your motorcycle, you already got tie downs in the front. Another thing that I added, great benefit. Actually, it's probably one of the one of the first, not the first, but one of the first modifications I did were the Gold Strike highway pipes. As you can see, these they, they turn out, and uh, those were are phenomenal. I think they look well on the bike. They have both the black and the chrome. I choose to get the chrome. I chose to get the chrome. Uh, I have not worried, had to worry about scraping any pegs. The way I ride, if I'm scraping pegs, there's something wrong because I don't, I don't dip that much. So um, if I'm scraping, there's a, there's a problem. There's a bigger problem. So I like it. I use it on the longer trips. Um, it worked out really well for the longer trips. So it's one of the things I would definitely recommend. Um, if you're going to get highway pegs, I was looking at the Rivco, um, but I ended up with the Gold Strike. I like the Gold Strike. Another thing I like about the Gold Strike, while you're riding on it, it's very easy to kick them up and push and, and deploy them, push them down while you're going, so it's easy to get them when you need them. Uh, another thing I added was the Gold Strike. You'll see I'm a big Gold Strike fan. Uh, Gold Strike uh, footrests, floorboards. These are nice. These are nice. They're a little bit more comfortable than your standard peg. That comes on the on the Honda Goldwing. Uh, I'll show you the other side here, just so you can see it. Uh, I like these, and they're adjustable. Get the ones that are adjustable, um, which I think are a couple bucks more. They're adjustable. It just your 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 foot's more comfortable instead of being on that little peg here on this thing right here. Again, I like that upgrade. So that's one thing I would get if you're you know if you want to. Um, but I like it. Over here, it's going to be kind of hard to see. I don't know if we can see them because I have the plate cover. I did hey, uh, install the Healy bars. So with my bike, I, I installed the Healy bars that come in. The one, that particular version came in a sport position and a tour position. I think when you buy the Healy bars now, it only comes in the uh, one position. But the ones that I have bring the bars up and forward. 
And the reason that I needed that makes it more comfortable is I have very long arms. I have um, 36 inch arms, so uh, I need that length when I'm when I'm riding. So Healy bars are a great uh, a great uh, uh, thing for me. I bought them last year. Again, great uh, purchase, great upgrade. Another thing I bought before naturally I had uh, the trailer, I bought the lid locks. As you see on the end right here, the lid locks. What it is, I'll show you here. It's a way to secure your helmet because the factory helmet holder or whatever you want to call it is horrible for this bike. So what this does is you put this through the D-rings, uh, you slide this through the D-rings, you pop this in here, this holds in place, and then your your um, your helmet just hangs, it hangs from the handlebar, but it's locked in place. Uh, I like to upgrade, great upgrade. I guess the only thing I wish I would have done, I only bought one. You can buy them in sets, so you can put it on either end. I just bought one because at the time it's only me riding. It's only, I figure it's only one helmet, so I'm not going to more than one helmet. Um, so I, if I had it to do again, I just would have bought a set, a matching set. So I had one on each side, and you can lock it on, on helmets on both sides, and it takes the same key to unlock it. That was a great investment. Again, I don't know how much it was, maybe 60 bucks, 70 bucks. But you'll see online. But a lid lock for this bike is great. Gives you a place to hang your, hang your helmet, secure your helmet. Other thing, as you can see, Hopefully, you can see well with this GoPro. I added the Russell Daylong seat with the Russell Daylong backrest. Uh, I have nothing but great things to say about Russell Daylong. Uh, fantastic product. It's not a cheap product. It's not inexpensive. I should say cheap. It's not an inexpensive product. Uh, it's a great product. And I, the only recommendation I would make is if you go with Russell Daylong, try to do it on the off season where you wouldn't be riding no matter where you live or you consider your off season because they do have to take your original seat pan and form the seat from your original seat pan. So you're going to be without a seat for maybe a month or so, or a few weeks or a month or whatever it is it's going to take them to do it. So make sure when you have them, uh, when you do that, that you, uh, you know, you're not, you don't send them your seat or set up so your seat's being sent to them in prime time riding season. Uh, okay, let's see what other things that we've done. Other Gold Strike accessories. Maybe you can see them. I'm going to try to turn the lights on for you. So it's kind of hard to see during the day, but we added the tour blade. One of the things I wanted here was for visibility. I just think that the Honda Goldwing, the 2018 up, does not have a lot of visibility in the back. Uh, so I added the tour blade here that also gives you also gives you your tour, your uh, turning signals. So you can see that tour blade here. I think it's called a tour blade. And then there's a piece here also that illuminates. On the back of the trunk, you can see that there. Down here, I've added, uh, I don't even want to know what you call them. They're, I don't know. I don't know what you call them. They're lights. They're lights that go in the back by your, by your, uh, by your, um, license plate. So they also light up to give the, the, uh, the signal indicator. On the side, I added, uh, saddlebag lights. Hopefully you can see those, those down here. Added those. So that you can see those, see those again. What we're what we're hoping for here is visibility. Most of the time, I'm not going to be riding, or I'm not going to have the the trailer hooked up. So as the reason why I concentrate on the gold wing, because that's what you're going to be seeing most of the time. The trailer. I don't anticipate I'm going to be one of these guys who rides full time with the trailer. I'll just take it when I need to go places. So um, that's why I wanted the visibility in the back. So also I added, which was actually not a little bad uh, um, accessory. The gold wing uh, lettering here. You can buy that online and it just sticks on right there. It comes standard with the airbag version and uh, and I just liked how it looks. I ordered it. I even think now for 2020 uh, that's the chrome lettering. You can order the black lettering. I wish they had that when I ordered because I would order the black lettering for the white and black bike. I think it would have stood out even more. So giving you a good look at the trailer back here. Quantum GL Bush Tech again color matched uh, to the bike. And we'll take a look in that in a second. Um, the other thing that I purchased, accessory, was the Goldwing bag. That fits, it's molded, I guess, to the saddle to fit in the, these, these awkward line saddle uh, uh, bags. So I put that, I bought this, they come in a set. Um, I've used, they're great, I've used them on a trip. 
Um, they fit in here decently, if I can get it in right. They fit in here decently. Um, with this one, I think I carry uh, the rain cover for the seat and an air pump and some, some stuff I would need in the event that, uh, that uh, I had some trouble on the road. I carry in that one. Um, but I, they come in a set. You can buy them for both uh, uh, for your for your saddlebags. I think they they work decently. Let's look in the trunk. Oops, forgot something else. All right, so in the trunk, if we can see this here, I added the carpet. Um, you can buy the wing stuff version of the carpet or whatever, or put any kind of padding down there. I, the carpet works well because it stops things from rolling around all over the place. Um, so I like that. Um, what do I have back here? Some F4 Custom Cleaner, um, Bike Cleaner, Glass Cleaner, my eyeglasses, uh, gum, some microfiber towels. I did buy this pouch or organizer. Again, I think it's a good investment because you can put stuff in there. Like I have wipes in there, and ear, some ear plugs if you need them, some little tools that I might need for the bike, um, some neoprene gloves. So anything you want to stuff in there, again, it just keeps it so it's not rolling around all over the place. Other thing I added, again, the gold strike stuff, zero stuff is fantastic. Um, I added the armrest here, which were very easy to put on. Um, so that way, if you have a passenger um, on the back seat, they have some place for their arms to rest naturally and not have them dangle. Uh, so that was a good upgrade. Let's get over to the trailer. Now the trailer, I don't really have much stuff in here yet because there's really not much to put in here. I have purchased a uh, spare tire and I got that right from Bush Tech. I figured if I have a flat in this thing, there's a couple ways you can go. You can buy these tires here from Bush Tech. They have inner tubes. So I could have bought another tire and an inner tube and not the rim. And then just if I got a flat, try to change it on the side of the road. Um, but I just figured I'll just buy a tire. Um, that's all set to go, so all I have to do is pop off the tire um, and put the new tire on. Uh, also, what I purchased from Harbor Freight, which is a store I love, is just a little scissor jack that's in there. I don't want to pull it out for you, but a little scissor jack. So again, if I have to jack up the trailer, um, because I have a flat, I got a little scissor jack that I can jack it up to pull the, the tire off and put the other one on. The other thing that I have in here right now is just a cover, and I got the the trailer um it came with a cover for the trailer which is nice so if i'm traveling somewhere at night i can cover up the trailer uh and some just some tools the pump for the air ride suspension um even though this trailer has an automatic air compressor on it so you can just push a button and uh it will change the adjustment or test the test the change the, the air suspension on it and then the tra this one came with the uh camera bag so when you're, when you're traveling, you can do the garment bag or you can put that in there so you have uh, more place to put your clothes and uh, it doesn't take up as much storage. And then, as you can see, it has the push check cooler. Didn't do anything with the cooler yet. I didn't put any ice in it or anything like that. But again, I'm really kind of happy the way it came out. Um, there's, a couple, uh, there's a couple things that I wanted to do this year um, in having this trailer. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like those things are going to work out uh, the way that I wanted them to work out. Uh, I bought the trailer because I had two relatively big trips planned, uh, Americade and to Wingding. As we know, Wingding has gotten canceled. Americade today is, what, May 15th? So Americade hasn't been canceled yet. It's uh, still on for July. Uh, just being a resident of New York State, I'm kind of pessimistic. That that's going to happen. Pessimistic that that's going to happen only because of all the standards that the governor's put in place to make sure that that happens or ensure that it'll open up. I just don't know if we're going to be able to meet those standards um, so that we can have an event that big. But if it does happen, I will be there. I'm looking forward to that. So, so that's kind of it. You know, my nickel cent tour of my Honda Goldwing. If I left some stuff out, if you have questions about anything, Please feel free to leave them in the comments. I will try my best to um, to answer them. Uh, one last thing, I'll talk about the, the Bush Tech trailer. Naturally, when I got the Bush Tech trailer, um, I had to buy a, a, a hitch and a wiring harness. I got that from Bush Tech. 
I figured might as well get that from them. It's made for their stuff. And I had my wiring harness hooked up by my dealer. And the hitch put on by my dealer. So, and that wasn't that, it, you know, wasn't that big of an issue. So, again, thank you for watching. Any questions or anything that you need, now feel free to reach out. And I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And I hope that everybody has had the opportunity to get out and have a great day. Take care, everybody.